present here, Nana Akufado, Excellency President Ali, Diana, Professor Google, CEO of Biontech, Excellency Chairperson Mr. Faki, World Health Organization, Director General Tedros, Minister Aisata Tal Sal of Senegal, special guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. First of all, thank you, Professor Shaheen, for your presentation and above all for BioNTech. BioNTech's commitment to Africa and to Rwanda. I also want to thank Dr. Oslam Reshi and the entire board and staff of BioNTech, as well as the Kenap Foundation. This groundbreaking is really a historic milestone towards vaccine equity. Rwanda intends to build on this investment by putting in place the conditions to attract other manufacturers and innovators. Rwanda fully supports BioNTech's commitment to power this factory entirely with green energy, and we will work together closely to achieve that. The land we are standing on is dedicated to biopharma manufacturing. Rwanda is working with International Finance Corporation and other partners such as the European Investment Bank to put in place a comprehensive strategy for this sector. Maktar Diop, thank you so much for being here today and thank you for the exceptional support we have been receiving from your team. Vaccine manufacturing requires advanced regulatory capability as well as a highly skilled human capital. I'm happy to announce that the cabinet has approved the establishment of the African Biomanufacturing Institute, which will provide training and qualification for this industry. Working together with existing universities and the training providers, as well as private sector partners like BioNTech, this innovative institution will provide a solution for workforce development from short courses through to graduate degrees. I'm pleased that yesterday the Rwanda Food and Drug Authority FDA signed a twinning agreement with the European Union. Thank you. Through the consortium led by France, Germany and Belgium, our regulatory capacity will gain expertise and support from these partner agencies. This is just the latest backing that we have received from Team Europe, which has been a strong back of this effort from the beginning. We also greatly appreciate the technical support that Rwanda FDA has received from the World Health Organization as we advance to maturity level three <coughs> status. We're also working to link Africa's regulators together, a vision that has been championed by the African Union 
on rather the African Union Development Agency, NEPAC, for more than a decade. I am happy to see that the new CEO of Auda NEPAC, Nedos Bekele Thomas, has joined us today. Tomorrow. Rwanda FDA and Ghana FDA will sign a memorandum of understanding. Ghana's regulator is one of the most advanced in Africa. Ghana is indeed a critical partner in this Pan-African effort. I express my sincere thanks and appreciation to His Excellency President Nana Akufa. Thank you for being here with us today. For the strong partnership we are forging. We expect that this facility will work closely with a plant being established in Uganda to ensure a complete end-to-end -end production chain in Africa under the close supervision of both our regulators. Allow me to close by emphasizing the wide African context. The ceremony is a result of the African Union's decision last year to take action on a vaccine in inequality. Chairperson, of the African Union Commission. I thank you for your tireless effort to make this happen. This facility <laughs> is one of three identical sites planned by Biontech in line with the strategy, including Senegal and South Africa. So we are a big thank you to everyone who has played for all in getting us to this point. This is just the start, but a big start. Professor Ugur, rest assured that you can count on Rwanda as a rival partner, and we look forward to many years of productive collaborations. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, President Hakanako.